In this lesson, we'll conclude a review of Writing Test 8, Section 2. We're on the fourth and final passage, Fire in Space, Question 41. These slides allowed the UCSD students to experience microgravity. So question 41, at this point right here, the writer is considering adding the following and to perform their experiment without traveling into space. And if you recall from the previous video, it described how the students were able to simulate the effects of space at the end of 40, they achieved weightlessness or microgravity similar to what's experienced in space. This is relevant here, right? Whenever you're adding and deleting, ask if it's relevant because they didn't actually go into space, but they simulated the conditions. They were able to perform their experiment without traveling into space. So it's definitely gonna be an ad. There's gonna be two yeses and two noes. Is it yes because it elaborates on the advantages the students gains from flights? That looks good. Or it reveals the students did not actually go into space a point that the previous paragraph does not discuss. No, it does discuss that actually right above. And so the answer here is A for question 41. Specifically, they investigated the combustion of biofield droplets in microgravity for twice as long as could be accomplished in drop towers to perform tests with larger droplets. And this is really just testing the correct tense. So for 42, we have they investigated. Look for the rest of the sentence for clues. It's twice as long as could be accomplished and then drop down in drop towers and to perform. This is parallel structure. We have an and, there's two parts. This is the infinitive. So we're not gonna state investigated. We want, we're able to investigate. We want that infinitive. And if you look at the choices here, the only one that has the infinitive, right? We're able to investigate and to perform tests. And so the answer is D for 42. And I've just got a couple more questions. 43, the larger spherical, spherically symmetric droplets burned longer and gave the students more reliable data on combustion rates of biofuels because the droplets uniform shape reduced the variations in density that hinder tests performed in normal gravity. So 43, we wanna effectively establish that the UCSD students approach had solved a problem mentioned earlier relating to burning. And again, this is sort of evidence-based, the droplets. Let's look for evidence earlier describing the droplets. So if you recall around, we had a diction question at 36 right here, and we chose no change. This deformation results in subtle variations. It was describing how the droplets lost their spherical symmetry. That is the clue that was mentioned earlier. Again, you just have to be careful on these evidence-based questions look for the clues. And so for 43, spherically symmetric, that definitely was, was mentioned. And the answer, we're discussing the droplets, is gonna be no change for 43. And the last question, the students hope the new data will aid future research by improving theoretical models of biofuel combustion. Better combustion rate models may even lead to the production of more fuel efficient engines and improved techniques for fighting fires in space or at future outposts on the moon and Mars. And so this last clause here, improved techniques, and then we're describing the techniques for fighting fires in space or at future outposts. Now, if you were gonna put a comma, you have to ask yourself, this is this non-essential? And this is the question that's always gonna work for these, these punctuation questions. Is this non-essential? Can you cross it out or does it change the meaning? improve techniques, but then they're giving the types of techniques. This is essential, right? It's not just all techniques, it's techniques for fighting fires in space or future outposts. And so we don't need the punctuation because it's an essential clause. So that's the test you always have to ask. We don't need the commas or dashes, which all without any punctuation because it's essential. And so the answer here is C. We're just gonna read it straight through and ask yourself, does it change the meaning if it does change the meaning, then you have to get rid of all the punctuation. So it's C.